Welcome back everybody, today I'm with Ben Hawkins and we're going to be checking out this new Enterprise. It is the JJ Track version of the Enterprise and as you can see he seems to be flying around in some kind of space toilet. What's that? Is that a Mobius toilet? That, that is... is a Mobius toilet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is the Review Lou Mark II. General Von Doom would be so proud. I see you've got a bit of a brown hull down there. That's a great way to start off the video. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at this awesome ship. So first of all, Ben Hawkins, thanks very much for bringing it to my attention. You're um, welcome. It's one of the prettiest Enterprises we've seen so far. How long is it? It is 700 and something meters. Oh, that's really uh, encouraging because all the other ones have been significantly shorter. And um, it really shows because you put the link length up and you can get much better detail into all of the angles. Oh, yeah. So this is really quite inspiring because we've got to, as you know, we've projects. <laughs> so yeah, um, first of all, please tell me a little bit about your ship. All right, so basically this is supposed to be a one-to-one -one recreation of the Enterprise from Star Trek Into Darkness. Um, uh, I have done everything I possibly can to get the measurements and uh, angles and everything done as perfectly as possible. Um, uh, I actually spent a really long time on this. I um, uh, started building this way back in uh, November of last year. So this thing's been in the works for a long time. Um, I basically built this thing from scratch. I did not use any SM edit. Um, uh, I didn't even know about it when I started working on it. So um, I uh, am currently in the process of working on the interior right now. Um, uh, I have about three decks um, close to being done on the disc and have gotten three decks done on the body. The shuttle bay is complete, the bridge is complete, um, still haven't done engineering yet. The nacelles actually have their warp coils and everything, so they're, that's pretty cool looking. Um, and uh, this thing has, I'm going to have to jump in the actual core to tell you the exact stats, but um, uh, it has a good number of turrets. I can't remember the exact number. Um, uh, the main reason why I had to put turrets on it, which I mean turrets aren't exactly Star Trek, um, uh, but I had it's to put It's because of the game. It. Yeah. It's cause... because of the game. Because yeah. It's like... <laughs> It's, it's such a big ship that it just doesn't turn fast enough to be able to allow it to not have turrets. So, it just it just had to have turrets. Yeah, but that's understandable, I, yeah. I managed, I managed to fit them in um, uh, into the hull so that they don't um, uh, obstruct um, uh, the, uh, the look of the, uh, the ship too much. So. It has... A uh, fairly large shuttle bay. I'm um, coming fits, into the shuttle bay now. Fits 16 um, uh, shuttles, and then it has two spots for two larger shuttles. I like to call the one that's in there right now my battle shuttle. Yeah, yeah. Just floating through now. I'm gonna go out the back and then turn around and come back. Yeah, this is one of the parts that I'm very proud of. I tried to get it to look as much like the movie as possible. It does, it looks legit. Because, I mean, that's one of the most iconic parts of this entire ship, and I figured I need to get it as good as possible. <laughs> it looks really good, mate. Oh, there's more. There's more down the bottom. This is astounding. Yeah, there is a little bit more detail down there. I haven't finished it yet. There's going to be even more detail put under the underneath oh all this god, stuff. Oh my god, there's even more down here. Yep. <laughs> it's just one of those ships where you just keep looking and looking and see more and more. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, gotta be careful not to get stuck. <laughs> this way, turn it sideways. There we go. Oh, and there's a turret dock down there. Yes, there it's is. upside down. Okay, so that's the main hangar then. 
Yep. Oh boy. I just want to show everyone a quick look at the outside one more time, because damn. I can get out. I know which way I'm going. There we go. I'm just going to take a quick look around the ship again. Okay, so where's the next completed area from the uh, hangar? From the hangar, the next completed area would be... There's not really any way to get to it without going through uncompleted area, but... So, we, well, carry on. Um, the next completed area would be the lower decks on the body. I think you'll like it. <laughs> okay. So basically what you'll need to do is go through, you'll probably, you're definitely going to have to get out of your Mobius chair. That's okay, but, um, I can get uh, out. Uh, neck, are we going in the neck or are we going in that hull door there? Um, you can go in the hull door right there. Yeah. The one that's that uh, the toilet is currently um, uh, sitting next to. Oh, I'm on the other side, so that's fine. Oh, you're that on works. the other side? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Right. I'll meet you inside. I'll leave my chair behind. Okay, so obviously the uh, oh, wow. interior is work in progress, but whoa, okay. Got the deflector dish, it's a big salvager by the looks of it. Yep. It's very functional too. It works really cool. And I take it, okay, right, so lead the way then. Alright, so. We're gonna go down one deck, yep. um, uh, and we have the greenery. This is the uh, basically just the gardens of the ship. Um, uh, we got a farm of ice grass over here. Oh yeah. Huh. Um, uh, but then I kind of got a little bit of a little kind of a little creek going through on this side. It's got like a Zen garden. Yep. Zen garden. Very nice. I like the right. style on that hanging tree. Yeah, yeah. I tried to to, to take some uh, some inspiration from Minecraft when it came to the tree. So. <laughs> cool, man. Oh, and what's this? Is this a park bench? Yes. No park way. Park bench. I think this constitutes as a chair design. I don't think yep. I've seen one like that as well. It's quite simple. Nice arms. Yep. Chilling in my uh No, oh, nice skin by the way. Oh yeah, cheers. It's cowberries. I need to change mine. <laughs> okay. Nice skin too. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> Where are we going next? Alright, um we're gonna go back over here to the turbo lift. Oh, turbo lift, you say. Yes. Um uh this is going to be a grab lift system. I haven't yeah. fin finished it yet, but uh, we go down two decks to the torpedo or the long-range torpedo firing control. Oh, and these are the actual torpedoes. Yes, they are. Well, the the uh, these are the um, uh, I forget what the type what type of missiles they are. They're the uh, they're BBs. Yeah, are they BBs? Yeah, I think uh, so. Or, uh, they're the lock-on type. Yeah, that's BBs. BBs, okay. Mm -hmm. And then underneath that, there's this kind of crazy-looking uh, ice tunnel thing. It's kind of trippy. <laughs> observation area. Oh, wait, yeah, hang observation on. Area. Oh, God! <laughs> what is this? I don't know yet. I just decided to build it, and it looks cool. So. It's just something awesome for shots and screens and things. Yep. Nice. And then... Uh, 
all the way at the other end of the oh, uh, firing you... control. Why did you there's do... just oh, down there, the there, oh, there you are. Yeah, I see. Follow the bouncing fox. Um, uh, I uh, built the um. Uh, this is the. <laughs> uh, Yes. Deflector control center. Yes. You got it. You you got there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. I had to think of it for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah deflector control is right here. Very yep. nice. Very nice. That corridor fact, looks really Star Trek from here as well. Yeah. Well, JJ. Fact, it, it looks JJ Trek. Yeah. This is the uh, firing. This is the deflector control where um. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> <Brain fart. laughs> um, you can do it. Where you can do where, it. Um, uh, um, um, Chekhov. This yeah. is where Chekhov, Chekhov pushes buttons. He came came in the in the movie. He had to and had to uh, reset the warp core. Ah, so uh, the reset button, up. of course. Yep. New meta. Every yes. warp core needs a reset button. Do you even warp, yes, bro? And it's got to be as far away from the warp core as possible. Oh, of course. Because then you can have your Indiana Jones, like, you know, running scenes. It's, you know? Like, oh my god, will yep. they make it? Right. Oh, wow. This all is right, an inch. I think I can go... see what you're doing with this. Are we going yeah. all the way? Yeah, we're going to go all the way. Back all the no way! Other, like, finished areas, so. Not many, the, the many anyway. floors. Many floors. Oh yeah, there are going to be a lot of floors on this thing. <laughs> it's okay. going to be like amazing. I'm at the top. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go out this way. And we're going to go up two decks. No, three decks. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, to, man. Uh, this place is huge. Look down there, everyone. Yeah, that what? is freaking huge. <laughs> what? This is like... It's just like in the movie when they're like, oh my god, hanging from bars and stuff. Yeah, actually, that's right over here. Oh, what? Um, oh, that, you've built that. that. Hang on. Let's have a look at this. It's right here. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to shoot it with the gravity off and we'll turn the, turn the ship and stuff. Yeah. And it'll be like hanging off like, oh no. Oh. This is epic. This is epic, mate. You've done a really good job. So, yeah. So here's that scene where the ship goes all flippy, and it goes yep. into a gravity well, doesn't it? Doesn't it go into Earth's gravity well? Yeah, it does. Um, uh, and <coughs> this is the spot right over here where um, uh, Chekhov has to save Scotty and uh, Kirk right here. Right. Yeah, and yeah. Ironically, cause... ironically, this spot's been seen twice in the movies because this is also the same spot where the red shirts caught Kirk and Scotty. <laughs> oh, right. Let's have a look down here just to show people the detailing. We've got some brown, crystal, grey, and I guess more grey? Is that grey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's mostly grey. And in we go. Got some black as well. No, I'm normal. Oh, and well then over done. here, we have a straight shot hallway to the core. Okay. Nice. Please. Look at this Star Trek corridors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've actually had to redo the lighting in here because it used to be, I used to have every other block was a light block, but it was just way too blinding, so I had to, I had to fix it. Here's another one of those freaking huge up and down things. <laughs> you like those, don't you? Oh yeah, well they're seen in the movies many times, so I figured, well, you know, what the heck. Hang on. It kind of gives the ship a bigger feel. I've just got to go up and see this. Sorry. Yeah. Up to the top is. Oh, look at that view. Oh yes, you got a beautiful view of your peace liner over there. Huh? Oh yeah, the peace liner. It's all colourful and stuff. Okay, right. Well, I don't want to. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. So where were we? Down here somewhere. So down here, basically yep. the deck that we were on is just basically the core block room. I mean, if you want to see that. Yep, yep. Nice use of decorative panels, bro. Yeah. Decorative panels are my friend. <laughs> nice. 
And then that's basically the it for the core room, and that's it for this deck too, because I haven't done anything else with this deck. Yep. But uh, down here is actually the uh, the decks that are closer to being finished. We uh, we're working on actually completely mapping it out. So. Dumb. Wow, it's expansive. <laughs> it's it's yeah, huge. Yeah, it's, it's a maze. Okay, cool. And it's gonna be freaking huge. <laughs> Look at all the corridors. Oh my god, I'm looking at a proper floor plan. Are you using the plans for this? Well, the thing is, is that they don't have any plans for them. What? So I'm basically coming up with this. Wait, on hang own. on. <laughs> a Star Trek ship with no plans? Are you serious? Well, JJ Trek so has new. no plans. It's so new that it doesn't have any. It doesn't have any floor plans. That in means fact, that they haven't worked it out yet. Oh man! Dude, Roddenberry would never have allowed it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there would have been like blueprints so. and plans everywhere before this thing even hit the screen. Yeah. Merchandising. Yeah, so, like, I've, I'm. The re the main reason. Look, why let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Main reason why I picked this one is because it doesn't have any blueprints or anything like that. I could basically do what I wanted to, um, do whatever I want and take my own creative liberty. Because there's no there's no canon to it. For the yeah, inside. I suppose so. I suppose so. I got the big Starfleet symbol right, right there in the middle. <laughs> Starfleet symbol. Oh yeah. Yep. Wait, just Drawing about. Yeah, it's hard to figure out which way up it goes, sorry. <laughs> that way? No, no, that way? Oh dear. <laughs> sorry. This way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you were hitting the bridge, the little bridge thing that was up there. That way. Anyway, but yeah. Yeah, it's the gold is on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, got ya. Onward! So yeah. Where are we going next? Alright, so... This um, is the core. That's, that's where the core. Which way you want to go? Uh, I you don't wanna know. You want to go uh, up to the bridge? Yeah. You want to go up to the bridge, or do you want to go down to the cargo base? <laughs> um, I'd say cargo bay first. All right then. We'll save the bridge for last. Yeah. All right. So basically, the cargo bays are um, uh, uh -oh. the deck below these. He disappeared. Oh, there he is. All right. I'm trying to remember which way the purple lips were. Ah, here they are. No, that's not them. Fine. It's the other way. <laughs> uh, okay, let's have a race. Astronaut mode, go. All, All right. right. So, here we go. Uh, you can go all the way, I guess. Yeah. This is actually one of the more finished decks. Oh, Ooh. this is cool. Stellar cartography. <gasps> oh, stellar cartography. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's even got, like, maps and stars and stuff. Stellar cartography. Yeah, I'm going to be utilizing the new... The new crystal blocks to make this even more cool. So, very good, mate. Very good. I love it. Ingenious. All right. So in here we have four cargo bays that are um, uh, connected to this. Um, the doors are actually open, so it kind of illuminates and everything. But oh. our four cargo bays on the bottom of the disc, um, uh, kind of going around in a circle, I suppose. Oh, I see. There's several of them. Right, I got you. Yeah. And that's your cargo it's bay. Kind of cool. I decided to put the stellar cartography below the uh, what's called the planetary sensor, which is the big glowy part on the bottom of the of the disc. Yeah. I thought it would be good. <laughs> this deck is not quite as finished as the one below it, but I do have some rooms in here. Yes, discussion table. Office. Yeah, the discussion things. table. It's just like it's just like the the original series too. Like they have diplomacy. Harm, the the weird the weird shaped conference tables. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I remember. For ambassadorial things and such treaties, yep. treaties and things. Yep. Diplomacy, all that good stuff. Where to next, boss? All right. Uh, let's see. You have another cargo bay there. It's a little bigger than the other ones. That's oh, I get you. These rotate space. around. I see. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. Dang it. This is the wrong one. 
Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> lots of them, the so uh. Forwardmost one, I think. This is it. This is it. This is the one that has a little bit more cargo space. Oh in it. yeah, cool. I'm gonna stick and you some, could uh, just put stuff in here for roleplay purposes. Yeah. And be like, yeah, yep. we got stuff in the cargo bay too. Pirates yeah. are in cargo bay too. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for that. Okay. Moving on to the next room. I think we've pretty much done the cargo bays now, haven't we? We've seen yeah, we've we have seen all four. Much. Well, two of them, they're, they're the same, aren't they, the other three, so... Yeah, they're all the same, so... They're very symmetrized. Yeah, yeah. They use symmetry very heavily in this. All right, I don't blame you. Just take the turbo lift straight up to the top. Uh, turbo lift, turbo lift. No, hey, you're me. I don't see a turbo lift. Back this way. Huh? Oh, come right back around where you were. I found them. What? Well, back this just way. keep going yeah, around. There you go. Did you find it in... Are you going up? Ah, these ones. Right, okay. Alright, uh, so just... Go up all the way to the top. Almost to the top, I think. Yeah, all the way to the top. And we yeah. are in... I'm in the observation the thing. Deck. Observation area. That's where I've ended up. Back down this way. I found a table, a big, big table with uh, observation. Oh, yeah, you're in the uh, conference room. Oh, the conference room's cool. Nice view out yeah, the back as well. Got a very nice view. It was one of my favorite parts. Brown table. It's for your brown pants. So you can have brown pants meetings. <laughs> so which way do we go from here? Up? Down? Which way? I just go this straight. Way. Got ya. Over here we have, um, uh, we have the captain's and uh, first officer's quarters. Right, right. Very nice. Oh, mirrored this is where, on both sides. This is where Kirk gets uh, that nice green Orion chick. <laughs> yep. Alright, now we go Nothing this way. Nothing hotter than a ginger Orion. <laughs> and we have the bridge. Ooh. JJ oh, Trex Bridge. Look, much lens flare, many transparency. So much glass. Star Trek Apple style. This is beautiful. So yeah, yeah. Nice view. Indeed. It's got a very nice view. Just about read the number plate as well. Yep. <laughs> and I suppose you get away with having turrets in this, because in JJ Trek they did have turrets. Yep, they did. <laughs> Interesting. Well, this is really cool, man. You got loads of stations. Oh yeah. Got all the science stations. I had <laughs> planned on building this ship to be kind of a roleplay ship, sort of. Yeah, well, we've got a bunch of that stuff coming up. The improv trek is strong, so we might be doing more. So we're looking for more Star Trek ships to take out. And with the addition of green screen, we could play, like, an actual scene from Star Trek out there if we wanted. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a Romulan warbird. <laughs> That's not even from this era. Oh, well. There's no time for that now. Fire everything. <laughs> so yeah, so that's basically this ship. Is there uh, a way out? Oh boy. Uh, yeah, it's actually a uh, quick way out. Um, back here, I'll show you how to get to it. You just go down. Here. We got some airlock. <laughs> it feels massive. Here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we're out. Yep, and we're out. So I'm just gonna zoom. I'm just gonna. 
get a core and slowly float away. Oh, I haven't got any cores. Fine. I'll do it the normal way. There we go. And... We're back. Oh, dunk. So there it is, everybody. I want to thank Ben Hawkins for bringing the ship along and building it in the first place. It's really pretty. And um, thanks to everybody watching the stream. I'm going to be shutting it down now, so uh, that'll be the end of that one. And thanks for watching if you're on YouTube, catching this later. So, uh, see everybody soon, and I'll catch you all next time.